Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Eric here from e and Guns. I'm joined by my lovely bride, Melinda. Today we're talking 72 hour bags. So what should be the first thing for 72 hour bag? So we bought this kit off Amazon. It does have a Mylar tent. Um, Mylar sleeping bag, comes with a Mylar poncho and an extra plastic poncho, uh, has stakes in it, and it comes with a nice little bag that technically you can clip on the outside of your Molly backpack if you have one. So that covers our shelter. We do have uh, lots of extra rope in there. I just didn't put it on the table. So next up is water. <clears throat> so bringing water with you, you know, it says uh, we need a gallon of water a day. So next thing we need is water. So I have a Sawyer Mini comes with its own little container to catch it with. Then you can screw on the filter, squeeze out the water into your bottle. I do like, I do like these collapsible ones. So I think this is probably like a 20 ounce, but it got a little hook on it so you hook it to your bag. It, you know, it is collapsible so you can get it pretty small. I do have another tumbler. Of course, this is probably a Starbucks or a Dutch Bros. <laughs> I'm not sure who it is, but it's a little tumbler, so it's insulated, double, double layer. Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got a little lid, and unfortunately doesn't have a little carabiner spot that I can attach to it to make it bring along. We do have life straws. I do like having different ways to filter water. This one's kind of nice because you just put it around your neck. You get up next to a stream, and you can actually just drink through the, you know, through the straw and get quickly hydrated instead of working through the Sawyer. So that covers water. Even FEMA and the Red Cross recommend you have a radio so that you can get news and information. It's nice about having a solar charged radio as well as a crank radio. So you can crank it for a little bit. What's nice about this one is it does have a couple of LED lights on it. It's got the weather band. Probably work better if I put the antenna up. So it gives you the ability to receive weather alerts or any other alerts that are coming in from the government. So that's also a power bank, you know, so if you have your cell phone, which 99% of us have our cell phones with us, you can charge your phone with this. Sorry, you can charge your phone with this. I also have a portable power bank that's solar powered. So you can also charge several items off of this, meaning uh, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. So this light here, little pin light, with this item here, I can charge the pin light. So it's got a focus beam, it's got a side beam, got a little brighter. Oh, it's got the red light too. And then we got, of course, our headlamps. I do like these things. These are also charged up. You've got this wide angle beam, probably, I don't know, 150, 200 lunums. Then you got your side headlamp beam here, a little brighter. And I bought these for both our bug out bags, so both of us have rechargeable headlamp. This guy here, I freaked out my neighbors the other day with this guy. It is pretty bright and it's focusable. <laughs> I don't know how that looked on screen. Got flashing in it, got SOS. At nighttime, you're definitely easier with a headlamp to be able to do things hands free. You need another light to be able to shine out a little brighter. Got a little bigger one here. I think this one's off Amazon too. And I thought it what? said it was a thousand lumens, but I might be wrong on that one. With these dehydrated meals, you don't need plates, you know, all you need is your trusty old spork to get a hold of it. This little put together oven can either use wood, candle, or the alcohol fuel. Candles? Of course, we got an assortment. I don't think I'm going to pull them all the way out, it's just kind of a pain. But you got several containers here. So you got one for boiling water. You know, you got a couple drink glasses in there. They all fit nicely back together. The only thing I like to add to this stove is uh, like a jet boil. So that uh, not only can we use, you know, if we need to quickly eat or something or boil water or whatever, we could do it quickly without having to have uh, Did you get this set up fire. Mm -hmm, that was off Amazon too. And of course our spork with a whistle. This one actually came out of a little kit from um, Harbor Freight. <laughs> Not too loud, not too bad. As far as freeze-dized meals, what's nice about these is they well packed down. 
relatively small. Yeah, so far when I've seen reviews online, this one's a biscuits and gravy, and it's scored big on taste. That one's a beef stew, and it's also done real well on the taste test. Oh, I forgot to show you too. So the different charging cords that can go to that power station. And this one's actually a double A battery one for the light. So if you run out of charge, you can put double AA, A, triple A batteries in and continue charging it. Got an assortment of different tools to keep on hand here. One of them I recommend is definitely having a Leatherman and even having the one with the uh, little pliers could come in very handy. You know, it's also got the little cutter, it's not replaceable, but it does have a cutter in it. So for wires, rope, things like that, you can cut. Having a pocket knife is gonna be crucial. This one's got a little serrated tip to it. And then of course it's got the straight blade. So yeah, and it clips into your pocket, which is kind of nice. And then of course our rig or big saw, so it'll cut like probably two and a half, maybe three inch you know, branches to start killing with. And then one of the things for your knives is this one came with a sharpening stone. So that's kind of handy to have. This one also has a saw blade on the back of it, which again is really nice to have. And it actually, I tried it out. You can see there's a little bit of tree branch in here still. I'm cleaning it out all the way. But this will work real good. This is actually my wife's knife. It's got good weight to it. It's got the ability with the sheath to attach it to her belt. And if she needs to get up some more kindling, she don't have to come grab the saw. She's got one on her already.